All right, hello guys, Jamai Plays here, talking about a new game that I have quite gotten addicted to <laughs> over the last, I don't know, 24 hours or so since I bought it. It's called Mechabellum, I think I'm pronouncing it right. And yeah, I just wanted to talk through one of the matches that I played that I really enjoyed. Um, I chose the Fortified Specialist. If you've never played this game, it probably doesn't make much sense to you, but... A lot of things in this game still don't make sense to me but um yeah basically i chose someone that has extra hit points and i'm fighting against mayu online and this is basically like a replay of the battle i'm so happy that this game has this kind of replay feature uh, i don't know if this video proves popular maybe i'll do more of these so yeah i'm imagining that i'm a super futuristic mechanized army commander uh, a couple of my favorite my favorite units so far i guess is the marksman so i basically chose the character only because he had a <laughs> marksman to be honest the extra hp was kind of like a bonus um so yeah i've got sledgehammers which are heavy tanks and marksmen which are long-range anti-units and i just went all in on said marksmen because why not um so i put two on the left and two on the right if i remember correctly and then i supported them with a row of my sledgehammer tanks i see that my opponent went all in on the steel balls which are like high speed anti-units but they're, they can be quite dangerous, but I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like my, my uh, what do you call it, marksmen, if they have clear shots, like destroy them before they even get close to my units. So I feel like, okay, I've got good counters. He also went with crawlers, which could be a bit meddlesome. And I'm hoping, I was hoping that my sledgehammer would deal with them. Um, which they mostly did. Um, they're steel balls. <laughs> Let me do double speed. Steel balls got into me and started cutting the shit out of my units. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. But now, ladies and gentlemen, is where my marksmen went to work. Like, look at them go. I love these units, man. And I got that clutch, thanks to my marksmen. Um, I chose, I think, Elite elite Rhino, and I'm noticing now that he also chose the same upgrade, but we can't build Rhinos yet, because it's too expensive. Um, he went with more Steel Balls, and guess what I went with? Guess. Guess. More Marksmen. <laughs> Two more Marksmen. To just kind of hold up the rear to shoot things from range so i've got three marksmen in the rear my tanks in the middle and marksmen on the left and right he flies in with his crawlers but they're ripped oh my god look at those marksmen destroy them oh my god i love this unit and that was the easiest of the rounds i feel and now is when you kind of have to put your thinking cap on when you're playing this game so i went with wasps to add a little aerial superiority but he went with mustangs which is like an all-purpose tank that can attack both ground and air and they're also quite fast but guess what i did one more mustang and uh, one more marksman and that rhino that i picked i decided to plop him up front which Watching this replay now, I know was a mistake. He also went for a Rhino on his left flank. But my ace in the hole were my army of wasps running up the right flank to destroy his thing. Weakening his units and then picking him off from the rear. And they've done their job. They're going to be ripped apart by Mustangs, but it's fine. Because... My marksmen were shooting from ranged all throughout that match, destroying his steel balls. <laughs> steel balls, I still can't get used to that unit name. Whoever came up with that unit name is, is hilarious. 
All right, so I got the Mustang production line thingy, which is this one can only be equipped to a giant unit. I don't think I will have a giant unit in this round. So I decided to protect my middle core units of um, marksmen and kind of save my resources a bit. And he's still going all in on the steel balls. My wasps destroying his flank, same strategy like the last time and now it's coming down to the wire I wish I had taken down oh that's oh that's a fortress I didn't realize I thought it was okay okay so yeah I was like oh you are going for the big units now aren't you so for my choices I think I went with Wraith and he went with Sabretooth which are heavy tanks and this is where the strategy started to go crazy, guys. Um, I had unlocked melting pots to kind of counter his fortress. And his saber tooth. And my army of wasps on the right was not being countered. So I was like, yeah, let's melt the crap out of this fortress with my melting point. And I also added my item to, what's this item again? Produce Mustangs through this giant unit, which I now have. And this is where I feel like the tide of the battle, not changed, but like solidified my wind because he still has not countered my wasps. I have countered his giant unit. And now it's just a matter of cleaning things up. Yeah, this game is very hard. Um, I must have lost like four or five matches uh, before I won my first match. <laughs> but the more you play, I realize it's like you gain experience in game, but you always get you also gain experience as a player. You know what I mean? And things can be very different. Right now, I am in love with um, marksmen. And I think my love of marksmen and my ability to know the weakness of the fortress. And also, he did not... Like, he left his right flank, like, wide open. So it was very easy for me to kind of swoop in with my wasps on the right. He also didn't attack me from the side at all. So again, countering his giant units. Beaming down his other units. I now see that he has flying units, but it's too late because guess what? I dropped a wraith right behind his lines. And just like that, we got the win. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. If I made mistakes and you're a more experienced player, please feel free to drop me a comment and tell me what I am doing wrong or what I could do better. And yeah, I'm open for tips and tricks and advice about how to play this game. And I look forward to playing it for a long time. Again, this has been Jamai Plays. If you like this video, hit like. Please subscribe for more. I also Twitch on 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 stream on. I also stream on Twitch at Jamai Plays. So feel free to hang out and check me out over there. Until next time, this is Jamai Plays out. Thank you for watching.